Hello again. Did you change your mind about something? Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 challenge video. Having finished off Survivalist 3 by killing five animals with the varmint rifle, Survivalist 4 dovetails into this in the fact that, well, I need to get at least four flight feathers from animals, and killing birds is the best way to do it. So, now that I have at least one flight feather, I need about four or five more. So let's start killing some birds. Okay, I got four flight feathers, but I'm going to need at least two or three more, and that means I got to kill a couple more birds, and then I can craft the arrows. The reason I'm using the volcanic pistol instead of the varmint rifle is more power in the volcanic pistol. It take about two or three shots from a varmint rifle to take down these heron. One shot from the volcanic pistol, and I think I have plenty of feathers. Now, before I start camping and crafting, I want to take a look. So, I have to craft five arrows. So, I have plenty of feathers. And the thing is, I also got to make sure I have space available for those arrows. Because one of the problems is, you're limited to the number of dynamite arrows and poison arrows, etc. that you can carry. So, if you don't have available space, you won't be able to craft. So, I'm going to check the bow and check my arrows to make sure, again, I have enough available space after I feed and brush my horse. Yeah. Again, make sure you've got enough arrows. Um, yeah. Where am I going I really just need camp and craft here. OK, 
okay, I'm kind of where I could pick up some Oleander Sage if I need it, but now I'm checking for arrows. Okay, I got 40 regular arrows, fine. One improved, so I don't need to worry. Eight small game, I can go up to 40. Eight poison arrows of eight, I got to discharge one of those. And then I'm going to have to discharge a dynamite arrow because I don't have room for them. So again, improve, blah, blah, blah. Dynamite, I have eight of eight. I have no fire arrows. So get rid of one dynamite arrow and I'm good. Okay, I'm going to just harvest some Oleander Sage. I believe I showed in another video. This is a great place to harvest. It's, if you're traveling north to Van Horn or Anniesburg, you go over this bridge. It's by where Black Bell is, if you find her. And you go over the bridge, right over the bridge, there's like six Oleander Sage plants. So I want to make sure I had some to craft the poison arrow. That's one of the things you also need is all the ingredients. I know I have enough oleander sage. I think I have all the ingredients to craft the other arrows. But I'm going to sleep until morning. Now I can do some cooking and crafting. Um, let's sit down. See if what happens. Up, oh, I'm going to give Arthur a good meal of minty oregano and thyme big game meat. So that he can boost up his stats and be healthy. Yippee skippy. After eating and crafting some other things, we can now get on to actually crafting the arrows. And I do have all the ingredients. So the first arrow is a dynamite arrow. Again, I made room for it. Now I craft it. And next is the poison arrow. Again, I know I have enough for it. And craft that. Get all the crafting I needed. One dynamite arrow. One, yeah, a little slow here. One poison arrow. And then it reveals that I've crafted all the necessary arrows for the survivalist four. Um, yep, what fun. You can do this all in one shot if you plan ahead. Survivalist four complete. Uh, catch a fish while boating in the bayou and while standing on railroad tracks. Again, very easy challenge. I'll do a video on that. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week. Saturday through Sunday, Sunday through Saturday, and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.